Hey, what's up, fellas? Today, I would say we have some pretty fresh crab right there, man. This, these are some pretty big crabs. I wanted to use some whole. We do have two that are a little bit smaller, so we can use those whole. I think we'll wait for the nighttime bite to use those. But in the meantime, we've got some big crabs we can cut up. And also, you know we had to get some of these guys right there. The good old mantis shrimp. Don't be fooled, he, he will get you. Look at that tail. That thing is just razor sharp. And man, look at this day. Overcast, a little bit of breeze going on. Some nice water, actually. So I think the sea monsters might be coming out today. And that's why we have the giant baits. Let's take a look in the bait box, see what we got. Man, that's a big dog right there. Oof, and looks like he already got his... <laughs> he already got one of the freaking mantis shrimp. Poor guy. Oh no, that's savage, bro. Let that guy go. Well, he's not letting go. We're gonna use some of these big crabs right now and we're just gonna cut them up probably into quarters. Now we just need to pop off this top shell. All you need to do is bring this piece down, put your finger right here on the leg, and then pop off that top shell. And that's the chum. All right, and my strategy is to walk these baits out. Since we're not super deep, we're gonna walk these baits out in every direction, cover a lot of water, and then just go back to home base in the boat. You can't control The rigs we're going with today are some good old fish finder rigs down to a pretty big circle hook. This is a really big circle hook. This one is just pretty much for the whole crab we're going to use a little bit later. On other rods we have a little bit smaller circle hooks, but still, there should be some big fish. So. Big, big hooks don't hurt. The weights of choice today are some simple pyramid sinkers. We don't have a ton of current here, so these one ounces should hold perfectly fine. Just gonna pop these weights on the fish finder rig and then we're ready to send out some bait onto, out into the blue. Now this hook is way too big for this small piece of crab, but if a monster gets it, he'll still get the hook for sure. They're out here. Oh my God, dude. <sighs> that scared the hell out of me. It's just counting those rays. Thought it was like a giant shark coming for me. Count those rays might be even worse. They have some of the most painful stingers I've heard. Good thing they're pretty docile. As long as they stay away from me, we won't have to throw any bows at them. All right, we've got three baits out. Now we're just gonna put out one last mantis shrimp and we'll be fully rigged up. These mantis shrimp are alive too. Sometimes they make a little bit of noise. Could be good. Oh, is that a bite boys? That's a freaking bite. Hurry, get this weight on. That's a bite, isn't it? Oh, that's a bite. Dude, how quick was this bite? He's got it, dude. Oh, he's got it. Don't tell me it's one of those calamos I just saw. Dude, this is not even far out there. That's crazy. Holy, dude. I didn't expect to get a bite this fast. This is, oh my gosh, dude. This is something decent, too. Dude, this is something freaking decent, boys. I'm still rigging up my last bait right here. We got something heavy on the line. You know what I'm feeling like? It's feeling like a big old black drum. Oh, no! Oh, he's still on there. Dude, he's moving. Oh, I've never seen a fish move this fast. It's a cow nose, dude. It's a freaking cow nose. Damn. I've never, I've actually never caught a cow nose on a bait. But here we are. And I should probably get in the boat. Well, you can't say they don't give you a fight. I don't even know where to get this guy. Dang it, freaking cow nose got me. I saw a school of them come right by. I'm telling you, this is the first time I ever caught a cow that was on bait. I've snagged him before on accident, just re fishing for a trout and stuff, jigging a jig head. Oh yeah, that's a cow that was all right. A flappy boy. Oh my God, it's a big one too. Pretty big, medium actually, but pretty spooky.
It's only on 20 pound line too. Flappy boy. Oh, he ate it. Look at that. He has got that. If I can get him off the hook, I'm going to get him off the hook. Otherwise, he's going to be shark bait. But I'd rather just let him go right now. See if we can get him off without getting destroyed by a stinger. Okay, see you, bud. He's out of there. I flipped him upside down. I hope he can free flip himself. See if he goes. <laughs> or is he like just like a shark? His shark cousins where he goes asleep if he's upside down. I haven't seen him yet. Actually he gone. I don't know where the heck he went. Oh, it's too just the water clarity, I guess. <laughs> well, there's a star. Is that another one, dude? Oh my gosh, boys. We might have to switch spots. Because I think this is another cow nose ray. Just right after releasing that one. Let's see if he takes off 100 miles per hour. <laughs> Oh god, dude. I believe this to be another cow nose. God, I'm not even two seconds after I rig up or I get that other cow nose off the line. I don't know, man. This guy's feeling weighty and he's not. Usually, when you have a cow nose, they will zip so fast to the side. That's funny, man. First one we hooked up, it was on this guy right here. That cow nose crunched up this mantis shrimp. And now, now we got something on the crab right here. Cross your fingers, gentlemen. This may be one of the monsters we're actually going for. <laughs> I mean, we're catch we already caught a monster. It's just it's the wrong kind. I don't know, man. It's feeling. I think I might have saw a wing coming out of the water, flapping. But it's kind of feeling like a lot heavier. Nah, it's a, it's a ray. I saw his wing, I think. Ah. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, he turned around. Appreciate you. Oh, dude, that's a freaking big red. Dude, that's a red fish. I think it's red fish. No way, dude. Oh my gosh, I think this is a big fish. Or is it a black drum? Dude, that's a... Oh, dude, that's a big red. That's a huge freaking red. Oh my god! I thought for sure it was gonna be freaking Ray! Oh my god, dude, that's a big red! No way, dude! Oh my god, dude, he's so big! No way, dude! Oh my god, this is so awesome! I thought I had another Ray on! Oh, dude, what is this freaking day fishing already? I can't even get all my rods out! I was I was excited. I was kind of excited with that stingray already, but I was afraid we we're gonna catch a bunch of them. Dude, we got a big red man. And what did I say? This is on the this is on that big circle hook too. I said if there's a big fish, he will get that hook. I did not know there's gonna be this big a fish. Not red fish in this spot. 20 pound line. Loosen the drag actually, Coop. What are you doing? What are you doing, bud? He's gonna go under. Yep, he's going under. Loosen the drag a lot so my rod doesn't break here. Hope I want to get him. Oh, my freaking motor might hit. Get. Dude, I moved that motor right at the exact perfect time. This is uh, this is fishing on a tiny boat, gentlemen. For big fish, stuff gets crazy. And this fish ain't done yet. Dude, so freaking sick, dude. Okay, let's try and land this puppy. Dude, I was so bummed it was gonna be a ray. And it's a giant red. I had my, I can measure it actually. Let's catch it first, boy. All right. 
Come here, bud. Don't mess it up now, Coop. You got an awesome fish on the line. It's a good thing I never lose good fish. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's so big, dude. This is a giant, boys. And look at that spot. That's the coolest spot of redfish I ever caught. Oh, this is sick. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this fish. Golly. Get the grips on him and seal the deal, baby. The grips are too small for this fish. Oh my God, dude. Oh, look at it. This is why I love struggle hooks, man. Just came out super easy. He might have just ate that right there. Oh, the leg was all that was left. Look at that. It's so cool, man. All right. This is... Oh, my God. This is insane. He's going to be bigger than my board. I think the board's 38. He's bigger than that, I think. Oh! Oh, my goodness, dude. All right. That's 38. Already, already to the spots right there. Holy, dude. To the tail, to the spots, 31, 38 plus seven. That's a 45 inch redfish right there. Tie, tie for my PB. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, dude. This is inshore too. Oh my God, dude. Tie for my PB right there. That's a big freaking fish. All right, boys. Look at this freaking fish right here. Look at that fish, dude. Oh my goodness. And look at that tail spot. That's insane, man. Look at that freaking tail spot. Oh my gosh, dude. What a freaking cool fish. Tie for my PB here, kind of unofficially, because I had to measure it, because my board wasn't long enough, and kind of had to do it in two spots. But uh, let's get this freaking mastodon back in the water. Let this guy go. Got some nice chilly water for you to go back into. And you're a big guy. Yeah, buddy. That's what we like to see, baby. Catch a giant fish, goes back healthy. And we got some freaking cow nose running towards me. Oh my God, dude. It's not even close to sundown yet. And we caught the dream fish already. Yo, okay. I've been, I've been telling you guys about crab, man. I've been telling you guys about it. I haven't been catching much on it. But that's why, we use, that's why we use crab right there. Let's get some mantis shrimp. We're gonna catch this guy in shallower. I mean, we caught that red out deeper, but I wanna cover both, both areas. Could be some giant black drum in here shallow, some slot reds, even a giant red could come all the way up here. Well, we barely got out here and we already caught an actual sea monster. And now we got four rods out, two crab, two sea lice. Put your bets right now. What do you got? You got the crab or the sea lice. Here's the rules though. If it's a stingray, it doesn't count. That's negative points. What is this rod doing? What is this rod doing? Yes, I mean, obviously something's messing with it. Could be a hardy boy. Well, that looks a little bit bigger than a hardy boy. Oh my goodness. This is something big, but you already know what I'm thinking, don't you? This might be a red, dude. This might be another red. Mm, it came on top. It's staying down. Giant hardy boy? Oh my gosh, what is it? I can't see it. Oh, it's a ray. Not not a cow nose. Not, not even a cow nose, just a proper stingray. A big one too, boys. He's coming a little bit, dude. I'm afraid this guy's gonna have the longest tail with the longest stinger of all time on it. Like, <laughs> freaking cow nose coming up on us too. <gasps> this guy's not even close to done, I don't think. But I do want him off the line. Now, the thing is, once we release him, I really hope he just doesn't stick on the bottom because I need to walk around here. Oh my goodness, I see his tail and it is giant. And he's coming in, oh there he is. He's coming in tail first. He's got that circle hook pretty good. I might be able to pop it out without getting stung. All right. Man, this is spooky though. There we go, baby. Get out of here, bud. Please don't stick to the floor. Just leave. I just, when I release him, I forgot. He might just stick to the floor right there. Well, this 
is all we got right now. But let me tell you, whew, earlier we caught an actual beast and it wasn't no stingray neither. Well, my light died and I had to get that stingray off the line in the dark, which was not fun, but we got him off. And now it's time to get out of here. Got all the lines in and we just did have another cow nose on the line. Luckily he was able to spit it. Dude, we got, we got the sea beast though. It's time to get out of here. <laughs>